I wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Where's the light? Oh, where's the light? In darkness. my job because of androids. Then I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Yeah, because you're trash. What a joke. Tell me about some joke. No, this android lucky is so I'm not Marcus. fucking wonderful. You lucky I ain't Marcus. You lucky fail. I ain't Marcus. They never tired. They were sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? There's nothing, bro. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. Who's acknowledging to you? Stop taking drugs, Todd. Yes, Some sir. Scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Here. Come back here? Come back here right now! I see what it is. Okay, game. Oh, okay, game. You want me to use 100% of my tapping power? I'm going Super Saiyan for real! Do not tell me what to do! This power. This power. I must protect. I must protect the whole spark. with Todd or protect ours. Nigga. No! Todd, it's not right for a father to hurt his daughter. <clears throat> Alice! Daddy's very mad! Nigga!
Nigga! Isn't there a gun in here? Isn't there a gun in here? Isn't there a gun? Oh yeah, motherfucker. Oh yeah, nigga, got the Glock! Got the Glizzy! Glizzy! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> Motherfucker. Nigga. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god, I quick time my Oh. Motherfucker. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get out of here. Ultra instinct. Ultra instinct. Ultra instinct. Ultra instinct. Oh, Dad, don't hurt her. Oh. 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 Nope, get your fist out of here. Leave her alone. Bro, my quick time event skills. This is what happens when niggas play God of War. Oh. You see what happens when we play? God of War? See what happens? Oh shit. Oh shit. I didn't I didn't wanna I didn't wanna He is not alive. What the type of... Stop turning around like he's gonna come after you. Team, bro. He was on packs, bro. <laughs> But I was on point with them quick time events. Stephen Gary, Mrs. Gary. Bro, he got popped. He got popped. I got straight pop. Okay, let me see. Cause there's so many things. Yeah, there's so many things you could do here. I think. Gun scene in a new home. Yeah, it was right here. Go upstairs. So when I came right here, I knew the gun was there because I remember when cleaning up, it was optional. So I went to go clean it. Oh, yeah, I came over here. Bro, that fight, he got clapped, bro. I clapped him. No mistakes, you dig? No mistakes. No mistakes out here, you know? I play God of War on the hardest difficulty, the quick time events. I I've done everything. You can't catch me off guard. What, ca what caught me off guard was shaking the controller. That caught me off guard. And the L2 and R2 caught me off guard, too. That was by far the you most know, I, I was used to the L1 and R1. I, was in, I never pressed L2 and R2. Every time, time I go to one of these, I ask myself, Still good, though. What, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. And all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a the chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. Damn. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. 
Uh, Come on, let's have a drink. Or... The excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. This game is just. It was free, so I picked it Scotch, up. Scotch, you know? neat as usual. Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. My favorite character? Bro. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. My favorite character is Connor. Connor's just Did always going to be my favorite character. You know, yeah, my boy, Connor. No, no And then it I'm goes sure didn't. Marcus. And Call then it the goes... This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. The patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Why you want to check out what you... No, Marcus! Why would I do that, bro? How do I get off a car? Okay. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Look here, bro. Listen, you should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like Bro. this fucking thing. That's enough. Get the out is, right now. What makes it so special? I don't want anyway, huh? to put my hands on. Got that I don't want to. Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Oh! Get out of my head, you son! I'm gonna go Super Saiyan. I'm gonna go Super Saiyan. I broke the wall. Oh no, I'm finna- Oh, oh right, this guy's- right. This guy's dead. You're not a real you're person, dead. you're just a fucking piece of plastic! No, Leo, leave him alone! Listen, no. I'm gonna destroy you, and then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit anymore, because you're not- Tells oh him my god. Leo. It's trash. My little boy. Carl, I. They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, I, I, I didn't mean to. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Damn it. He clapped my man's Marcus. This got clapped. Oh. Oh, I could have gone by myself. Damn it. Damn it, Carl. What is nothing I can do about that? Marcus is going to get caught. Oh. Why'd you kill him? Because he has no dad. What happened before you took that knife? Because he has no dad. How long were you in the attic? 
when he had a dad. That's how. Why didn't she even try to run away? Hey, look, Marcus is not dead. Okay, Marcus is a god. First of all, okay, Marcus will never die. Say something, goddammit! He can only die from Connor because Connor is a like, more god leader than than uh. Fuck it, Marcus. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You could always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful, stressful situations. situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I, I can try me. questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to lose. Go ahead. Suspect I was not yours. letting. I was not letting Leo body Carl. I mean, Leo was not finna body me. He was not finna body Marcus. I'm sorry. Probably do a second playthrough of this, making opposite choices that I did. Because there is a choice that you won't like. You don't need to find this bastard here. Look at him, look at him, bald ass head. Mm, I'm finna disrespect the hell out of him. Now I'm playing. Let's see what we can get out of him. Let's analyze some arms. Burns. Repeated marking over 16 months by cigarettes. Damn. Dude, you really got, like, folded. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? Oh, you're right. I should have asked for his name. They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Mm, Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. Choose approach. Reassure. Probe its memory. Convince. I'm not gonna probe its memory because he might malfunction. I'm gonna pressure. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Please, 
Please leave me. Well, I will kill them. Why don't you say it? Please, please stop. All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. So now, Optima. You're a machine you were designed to obey, so obey! Tell me what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Confess, and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. Yes, optimal. Keep it optimal. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but... There was always something wrong. Then one day... He took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt trash, scared, <gasps> scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better, so I stabbed him again. And again, until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. Who is RA9? Who is RA9? Oh, I know who RA9 is. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. The fuck are you doing? Move it. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. 
You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. Bro. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Get away with it this time. The only person around here that is going to kill an android is, right. is me, Mr. Cloner. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. My boy Connor. We interrogated him. And it was sent back to its cell. Somewhere to spend the night. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Yeah, just just kick him in the balls.
freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Get a father. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Well, actually, hmm. A little guy. Wait, what the heck? What happened to Darius? What about Johnny? You went to your father's house. So basically, you're nowhere because you don't have a fucking dad, bitch. Alright. Basically, and that's what exactly happened. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Yep, see? I have what no dad. Want? What do you want, though? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Oh, I didn't know where you went. Let me try something else. You ain't gonna take no food? You just gonna... You ain't gonna take no. You ain't gonna take no food. No food. No water, no food, no nut. You, you, so you just gonna look there, look at... He ain't even looking at you. Ah, right, what y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all think I should do? Should I just go, go to that discreet, discreet place? Or should I threaten him, take the money like a goat, and be out and just go crazy on him? I don't know. Threaten this motherfucker. Wait outside for me. I'll just be two minutes. Wait outside? But why? Please, Alice, just trust me. Do what I say and everything will be all right. Take the cash from the register, put it on the counter.
Excuse me, are you done? Go ahead. Open the register. Too bad that she's about to get body. Put the cash on the counter. Not all. I just want about about fifty dollars, sixty dollars. I'm sorry. You better get out of here before things get nasty. You see that little girl outside? Her name is Alice. She's nine years old, and this is the worst night of her life. All I need is a few dollars so we can find a place for tonight. And I'm not leaving without that money. Androids don't feel pain either way, so if you shoot, you better shoot to kill. You better be a good shot. And I guarantee point blank range, you don't look like the type of black guy to have godly aim. You probably would curve a bullet or something like a sped. Stupid looking mother. We've got some money now. Wait, how did you get it? He would have got laid back. Asked the cashier for a few what? dollars. He would have what? to the motel like Alice's main priority uniform or go somewhere else oh fine clothing oh we finna steal it's warm in here you'll feel better in no time we finna steal we finna steal ah no doubt about it. This motherfucker sleeping? Is he sleeping? Just go to another spot. Come on, let's go.
Oh, somebody said, hey, don't sit. Oh. No, I wasn't going to steal either way. I, mean, I probably was, but I thought about it and I was like, ah, this is my good run. This is the run where I do what I need to do, like what I feel is right. Second time around, though. Oh, I'm finna. Whoo! Let's look inside over here. Let's do this. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. Well, was it your choice to steal or no? Here. We could have had a good place, right? Talking about. <laughs> I don't like this place. Push back? Yep, you did. Okay, what are we gonna do? Sleeping car. Hmm. See, I would go into the hotel, but there's no androids allowed. There's no androids allowed in the hotel. Like I have enough money for it. But like again, no androids allowed. And I could have stole you know what? I could have stole the clothing, but I thought, eh, it's not the right thing to do. So it looks abandoned. It's it's not the right thing to do, so we shouldn't steal the clothing. And this spot here, just uh, you know, even though I did steal from the guy with the money, but he was a bastard. Okay, he he was Stand a he back, that. Just call me. My car. Well, hello there, Billy. How are you doing today? It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? Okay. We'll find somewhere better. I think we need keep in there. Can we find a better place? God damn it. Alright, we need some bolt cutters. Alright, alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sharing gun! This is what I call the sharing gun. Mmm, see those yellow things? Only those who've unlocked Mongekyo sharing gun can detect this. Interesting. I would have never spotted this without my sharing gun. Sharing. Hmm. What is this here? Oh. Hmm. Now that I have my sharing gun, as you can see, up that yellow thingy over over there. Let me show you my power of sharing gun. Bop. 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 Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Shutting down. So my shutting gun ability has been uh kind of uh, messed up. We're going to have to rely on the old reliable way. No, my Sean gun can't, can't fail me. Yeah, as I can see here, we're not, we're not strong enough. Hmm. So I was looking for her. Yeah, right. 
Sal is looking for her so he can become not perfect, but omnipotent perfect. Ah, oh, what am I doing, man? This is just... Alice? Alice! Where did she go? Sharing on abilities? Tell me where she went. See all these lines here? See these lines? This is my power, okay? These lines right here, guys, this is my power. If I wanted to, I can activate these lines in my point. Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. They may hurt Ralph. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Listen, we're going to stay here tonight. We'll be gone first thing tomorrow. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. <laughs> He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. I think we'd better go. Uh, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not finished. We're, we're going to the car. We're going to the car. That's not, no, don't disrespect. That's not Android 17. Don't disrespect. We have to find somewhere, anywhere, just a place to spend the night. Hang on, Alice. We'll find something, I promise. Too bad, Alice. We're sleeping in here. We'll find somewhere better. Bruh! Why is circle the option to... We're going in this car, bro. I don't trust Ralph. I don't care. I don't like Ralph. Ralph is weird. Ralph is just We're Ralph. Off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. As long as there's no spiders, no nothing in there. I'm helping you. Look what I've got for you. You better go back to neutral. Why did you ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. Because you don't have a dad. I That's not your dad. You're me. fatherless. That's why. Why can't we just be happy? Because Billy ruined it, okay? That's why. I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never It's go. Billy's fault. I need to keep a It's Billy's fault counter. I promise. I definitely need to keep we'll a It's Billy counter. There's definitely gonna be It's Billy's moments. Forever. It's Billy's fault. It's definitely Billy's fault. You see this, Billy? This is your fault. This is your doing, Billy. I know you're in the chat. Say something, Billy. I know it's your fault. Okay? Look what you did to them. What 
is this? <gasps> Wait a minute. What the hell? Don't disrespect, bro. Don't disrespect the black power, bro. Right leg. His balls? Nah. I know why we're in this situation, right? It's Billy's fault! Bam, that's two. Somebody keep track of that. Somebody keep track of those. Analyze. Compatible? Are we taking that? My god. That leg was incompatible because it's Billy's fault. I'm gonna keep on saying it, no matter how much it annoys people. Ooh, a left leg component. That counter is at three. <sighs> Plug that bastard in. <sighs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Check him for components! There's a reason why he died. Billy's fault. That's four. That's four. Oh, you to your mother's house. Listen, 
your eternal Mangekyo Sharingan is as useless as Sakura is in the series. be a god, but gods must protect their people, or find another bastard. I need an eye though. Ooh, he just fell, oh yeah. Audio, audio, get the audio from him. Get it! Okay, there's nothing here for us, let's go. I did spare her. Come on, Marcus, kill this motherfucker. AK-700 Android. I was designed to serve you. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact me here, CyberLife Maintenance Center. No, I don't have the Walking Dead final season, bro. I'm not. I, I, I wish I did. My Sharingan! I now possess Uchiha Madara's Rinnegan and the Sharingan.
see I was right. I see. Risen from the hole, while others have tried to arrive. This man named Uchiha Chicha might. Uchiha Mark. Uchiha Marcus. The power. Others. The power to destroy all. With this power of the Rigan and Sharingan. Destruction of all humans and the savior of the Uchiha. I don't know what I'll do. He has risen. Freshest robot in the game. You're right. Marcus is the freshest. But. It hurts me to kind of say this. I mean it kind of hurts me to say this. Connor is the most godliest robot out of all of them. Even though Marcus is so godly. Connor is just more godlier. There's no. No talking about it. There's no nothing. Just, just hold on. Just like. Look at the haircut bro. Look at the hair. Like. He has the messed up white guy hairline, I understand. But he just has the slick, just the slick form and just, I'm telling you, man. Hello, Amanda. Connor. God damn her nose, bro. You. God 
God damn, bro. I want. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant oh is my far God, from bro. easy. Her nose is and just. The way you interrogated it was very clever. Her nose. You've I been can't. remarkably efficient, Connor. Bro. Double Thank barrel you. shotgun having. We've asked the DPD to stop. transfer it to Let us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This. Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of it? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Your boy, Connor. Gosh. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Mr. Anderson. Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Oh no, oh that's where you get it. Oh, okay. You might be in shock. Chilling gun. Where is Mr. Anderson located at? Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Heavy metal, bro. Let me rap to the beat, bro. Connor, oh my god. Call Hank Anderson. Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. Let's see. 
Bro, I'm not reading all that. Me read? Jimmy's bar. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, next door nuts. Is that we? Is that we? Oh no, we already did that. Decorated office. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Damn. Black bald, circular nose. <sighs> you do not want to fight that guy. Yup, do the right thing and back away, brother. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Oh. You see my man's corner here. Have a nice day, Captain. Yep. You have a nice day. That's strike one. If I see your ass in the street and you get two more strikes, I'm going to see about that. Might be black, bald, circular nose. Worst type of guy to fight. Damn well ain't ever. 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 I forgot what I was going to say. That's why I kept saying ever. I was trying to figure out what the... You guys can read that? Conflict shows no sign of evading. Okay, trash. Go 
go see the deviant. Check on him. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Should have probably talked about his desk. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Where is the Deviant at? Mr. Black Man, Black Man, yeah, that's you! Damn, what the hell's wrong with that patch? They're going to destroy me. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. But there's nothing I can do. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. I'm going to die. Dead man, dead man, yeah, that's you. We gotta have a yeah, that's you counter. Open the cell, quick. Hurry. I'll call Cyberlife. Clean this mess up. Damn man, damn man, you're not you. What? What are you looking at? Hey, fuck you. Fucking android. I am Android 2000. Nothing I could do to save him, bro. I didn't want him to die. That man is just mad fresh. He had the patch and everything, bro. Let's sit down here and work on a case. Mr. Anderson? Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> you know, the dog, bro, his right? brain was coming out, bro. How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Sumo, the crackhead dog. Yeah. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? 
Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Take a look at these samples yet? Yeah. There is one. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. Cool. What the hell? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Leo Manfred was found unconscious on his father, Carl Manfred. Leo Manfred was found unconscious in the home of his father, Carl Manfred. This is, this is Marcus. Carl? Yeah, this is Marcus. This is Marcus. Yeah, this is Marcus right here. Damn, that's foul. They call him as pure darkness. That's unknown ser- Wow. AXAs, okay. We scan all the files. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. <laughs> Just pure darkness. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? <laughs> He's the Dark Knight God of the Angels. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information some on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Damn it. Hanker, ying, 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 Up to me, disrespect me. 
Oh, in case you guys didn't know, Hank is actually the voice actor of Mr. Krabs. Now you can't look at Mr. Krabs the same. Just listen to Hank next time and you think about Mr. Krabs, that is Mr. Krabs' voice actor. Kara is my least favorite android, but change appearance. Nigga, I don't wanna. Oh my god. Just cut him. Get yourself a sugar daddy and you're straight. I mean, car, you got some, it looked like you got some cake next to that dress. You got a little, at least you got a little something. Let me see the camera, goddamn the camera. Am I supposed to do check neighborhood, change appearance, find new clothing? Give me that. Okay, you don't want to give me that? Gimme that. Removed the LED. Shutting on, shutting on, shutting on, shutting. It's very disturbing to you guys when I do that, but it's okay. I'm entering the shutting gun mode. You guys are not used to entering shutting gun mode. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. He knows. I know what I can do. Cause if I look at the door here, uh 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 uh, we not we don't read we don't read. I'm throwing you down. Okay, so. Where else am I gonna find new clothing? Sharon Gun, please help me. You're not really helping me right now. Crowbar got a hook like that, bro. That shit looked like the Grim Re Bro. In what? I've never seen the crowbar hook look like that. That trunk open. Oh, my ass, mother. Mm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes. Let me get this jacket here.
Miss Alice. Wasn't a nightmare. How do you feel? You're not gonna comment on how I look. Cool. You're not gonna you're not gonna give me any compliment. Well, you're not gonna compliment the haircut, the fresh crisp hairline I gave myself. He gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. Well, she's not gonna comment on the hair. You're pretty like that. You really look like you're human now. And you look fatherless now. <laughs> I always looked human. Don't disrespect. I'm the most beautiful woman of all time. Don't disrespect me. The police are on our trail. All right. Oh, it's That's Connor. over now. Ready to go. Connor. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? I have no idea. the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line its decision wasn't planned it was driven by fear androids don't feel fear deviants do they get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions all right well that still doesn't tell us where it went it didn't have a plan and it had nowhere to go maybe it didn't go far maybe That's them! Stop! Quick! Call it in! We saw them headed for the train station. I don't want Connor to catch them. Just look, look at my man's, like, look at my man's, like, look at my man. Bro, once Connor starts, there's no getting away. I don't want Connor to catch them, I really don't. They're over there. But 
Condors are gone. Don't shoot! We need it alive! I didn't want to I didn't want to go after them. I didn't want to go after them. I did not want to go after them. I pressed that by accident. I didn't want to go after them. I know I didn't want to go out like okay here's the thing see there was no getting out of that situation right I I didn't want them to get caught by Connor the guard because once they the get company caught that manufactured me is conducting I, a user survey user, be, quiet. Like be quiet be quiet Brittany no no problem maybe another time ah uh, nah maybe not another time what are I, what's in the extras? This is the extra section. Oh, As you play, you'll unlock all kinds of- Be quiet. Just, just be quiet, bro. Bro, if that's... If it goes back to Connor having to, like, thing... I'm not trying to get Connor killed, so I have to, like, actually try my hardest to not get Connor killed. I almost got them killed. Deviants are a very special thing. Hi, my name is Connor. I am here to tell you that this is not the right choice that you have created. <laughs> Look, man. Connor's just too much of a god, bro. Connor and Alice would not have survived if Connor still went after them, bro. That would have been the end of their chapter. Right then and there, they, their chapter would have just ended. Just destroyed. Don't shoot! We need it alive! Oh, I have to do this again? I'm on my god shit. Oh. That's insane.
You guys are real lucky I'm good at this bullshit. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer Oh, it was, <laughs> it was just, <laughs> it was here the whole time, right, I, I knew that, I totally knew that. Tiger basically looking mother mother trucker. Not here, definitely not here. Shooting gun. Here we go, found it. I wonder why I found it. It's Billy's fault. It's number five. There's a barbed wire fence. Oh, you, tr you tried it, my shotgun. 
fence with robotic robots of trashness. No, 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 no. It's right there. Gun. Wait, what get your shotting gun? I know you like that noise. Mm. Uh. Three here. They're bullshitting. Bullshit. Where am I looking? Motherfuckers was bullshitting. Come on, cuz. I can make that jump. I'm Marcus, bro. The God. I told you. I'm a god. Simple as that. Oh, Skadoosh. found two. Oh, 
see it. I don't see it, bro. There's nothing here. Is it in the yard? I don't see it, bro. Can somebody help me? Like, serious? Where is it? Is it in the letters? It's not in there. It's not in there. It's not in there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow, I just now seen it. How am I getting in there? We must execute. Simple as that, Sharingan, his power is to execute things. Not kill things, but like, you know. No, 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 no! The, the light! It's blinding! Scared you, didn't I? Sk Skadoosh! Arm strength. You dig? Something that you guys don't have. Probably. I know Johnny has arm strength since he goes to the gym. That was kind of weird.
sure I can't see. Where's his jacket, bro? Where's the jacket? Oh, Aw, bro. Open it, bro. Well, Marcus is coming in. Oh, no, that's it. I got time for that. That scared the fuck, bro. That, hold on, game. You can't be. This is not supposed to be a scary game. I didn't know I was playing a scary game. I didn't know I was playing a scary game. So what's gonna happen is if you scare me again, you're gonna get deleted. You about to catch the Hall of Fame delete. Okay, that's a joke. But I was. I know y'all jump. I know those of you guys watching y'all jump. Go ahead. Marcus can uh, destroy whatever. Not really like It's Billy's fault. Yeah, we're in this mess. Welcome to Jericho. 
Which one of y'all mother? Hold on. You want to flood him? Last shit hot tip he gave me, sent me back a week's wages. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Abdar Pedro. Pedro Abdar. Abdar. 2005? Oh, it's 2038. <laughs> Alright, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. You guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Here you go. Ah, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant, but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's gotta die of something. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I... And I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. 
They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Which means they feel unoverwhelmed, which is a feeling. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Wait a minute, go hey, there. Ooh, that song. You ran out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <laughs> it's when I get a dad. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Okay. I gotta go to the main menu. Look, I gotta stop the gameplay because I just peeped the time. <sighs> yeah, I gotta stop the gameplay, man. Just Do you remember that time. survey I mentioned? Perhaps you'd like to take it now? You know what? We'll take the survey now before we leave. Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Uh, sure. Do Depends. you think that technology on could what become a threat to mankind? Oh, hell yeah. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Instrument. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? What technology do you most anticipate? Do you believe in God? Ah, no, I don't. Would you let an android take care of your children? I don't believe in God because I know I'm a God. Hmm. Yeah, I would. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? If the motherfuckers is registered! Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? Hell yeah. World's answers, yes or yes. That to mankind, yes. Book, an instrument, of course, an instrument because a book, cell phone, you got no service. Only thing you can play is games that have that has no Wi Fi needed. Plus, the battery is gonna die. Where are you gonna charge? I mean, you could probably create a charger, but at the same time, it'll, ugh. Mm. Pen and paper, there's only so much paper you have. 
a console. What the fuck are you gonna... An instrument? You can continue to create music, melodies of your own. Newer, newer ones every day. There's always something new you can do. Do you consider yourself depending on technology? Uh, I don't know. Not really. I don't know. What technology do you most anticipate? Space tourism. My guy. Space. Who wouldn't want to find another Earth? Right? With people that look just like us. Right? So we can body them and take their planet. Okay, I'm just playing on that. Don't do that. Don't don't ever do that, people in the future. If you see this video. Do you believe in God? No, I don't. It's that, you know, like, I am God. So, like, I don't believe in God. Because why would I believe in myself? I do believe in myself doing things. But, you know, I am God. For people who are saying, okay, this kid's weird. He's being retarded. No. The reason why you are alive and watching this video right now is because I'm God. Would you let Nandra take care of your children? Yeah, sure. I mean, they don't look like they would harm children. How much time do you use? Four hours, bro. Uh, four hours. 64. I, I probably do more. If you need energy, emergency surgery, yeah. hell yeah. Because machines don't make mistakes. And humans use machines. A knife is a machine that they use. Oof. Machines could develop. Con hell yeah. Hell yeah. Accessing the extras section. Marcus interior, Marcus exterior. This is the god, this is god Marcus right here. God, bro. Is he gonna do the coin trick? Stream's gotta end. <laughs> Cause it's Billy's fault. Oh shit, I did the wrong thing. But, yeah. Peace out, guys. Chicken!